be as you might, you can't run from hope. Hope is inside of everyone. I'm the definition of hope. <laughs> I felt like this was the most appropriate thing to do on the very last episode of Danganronpa. Big thanks to JJ Slam, by the way. <laughs> Can't believe you asked him to do this. We made it this far. I didn't think I'd finish all the games, but I can't believe it's almost over. Now, don't get me don't don't get me wrong. We have a this is a long episode, but it's finally done, the last one. Now, real quick, guys, before we jump into it, I just want to say right now, if you're really sad about Danganronpa ending and you want me to play a game that's a lot like Danganronpa, I plan on continuing the game Your Turn to Die uh, after Danganronpa. I I've been recommended this game by so many people. Go check out this first episode. Uh, get caught up. Watch it if you want. If you guys are down with that, I'll continue the game. And, you know, because, like, I love these kinds of games. So, <laughs> everyone tells me to play this game. And from what I did play with, it was really, really good. So, just wanted to throw that out. I'll link this episode down below. If you guys want to go watch it, I do plan on continuing it. If you guys do support it, that is. But without further ado, the last episode of Danganronpa starts right now. It's all Junko's doing. This killing game is her doing, too. Because Junko and Oshima is... Junko and Oshima is... Cuz... Junko and Oshima is... Junko... And Oshima is... <laughs> right the fuck here! Woo! Yeah! I called it! I called it like a few freaking episodes ago! <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. I Oshima told you! Oshima takes the stage once more. Junko and Oshima, the 53rd. Okay. The new ultimate despair. I knew it. <laughs> oh. Seven. Once again, the mastermind is Junko and Oshima. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Dude, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I called this. I I can't even express it. I mean, how fitting. The last the last class trial of the game. I called it. I called it. And I'm so happy about it. I really needed this. You guys don't understand. Sumugi, what's the matter? Aren't you Sumugi Shirogane? Oh, this feels good. This is great. Our friend who survived with us? <laughs> Sorry about that. You can go ahead and forget about Sumugi Shirogane. Like I said, she seems so unimportant through the whole game. I'm just a character. You know, a lie. Sorry to all her fans out there. If any of you even exist, that is. A, a lie? Tsumuki Shiragani was nothing more than a cover for me. The mastermind. So if she did have that thing, it, it wasn't fake though, right? She made it up, so she could cosplay as fictional characters. <laughs> Calling her your friend? Ugh, Prize it's though. laughable, really. Really? I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> uh, are you serious? You're the mastermind behind this? But why? That face and that voice. It's just like... Junko and Oshima. I know, right? Oh, does it make you fall into despair? <laughs> well, does it? No, that's not possible. Junko Inoshima is dead. Nah, it's just another obsessed fan. Why did you call yourself the 53rd? It's reincarnated. As history repeats itself, so does Junko Inoshima. Yeah. As you can see, I am a perfect reproduction of Junko Inoshima. So, you're just a freak pretending to be Junko Inoshima, huh? No, a perfect reproduction. Perfect reproductions are exactly the same as the original. Her logic is impossible to follow. Much like the real Junko Inoshima's. Fair enough, yeah. Fair enough. Whatever it is. You're the actual mastermind of this killing game, right? So if we kill you, then that'll be the end, correct? Say mean things like that. Besides, killing me never ends the game. So that's why they can have another game. Never ends the game? What do you mean? She's bluffing. Let's just kill her and get it over with. Wait, if force is necessary, it should wait until after we see what she... No need, Kibo, because this class trial is over. What? It's already over? Oh my 
just showed up. She's not gonna turn into a giant this time, is she? And Monokuma covered it up with a false narrative. The class trials are rigged, and this whole game is illegitimate. Oh, that. Right. Yeah, I definitely messed that up. Sorry about that. So? So? Is that all you have to say? The viewers won't accept that kind of apology. You gotta stop the killing game! Huh? The viewers? Um, it seems like you're on the wrong track, so let me explain. Okay, so first, I'll start with the event that inspired me to plan this killing game. That was about the time the meteorite impact started intensifying. Did she just start some big story on her own? I knew of Hope's Peak Academy's gopher project, and my inner Junko told me... Mm -hmm. Crushing the gopher project, humanity's last hope, she would be the different. perfect despair. That's when I took over the killing game I devised. I forced those selected as humanity's last hope to play my killing game. And then I took the name Tsumugi Shirogane and sneaked in among them. Did Kokichi know about this? Wasn't he a remnant of despair? He was your comrade, right? <laughs> comrade? Junko Enoshima doesn't have comrades. It's like, you don't need a remote after you've thrown out the TV, right? The remnants of despair are just a bunch of despair fanboys and fangirls. But I am despair itself. I am a god of despair. Kokichi was just one of my believers. A god wouldn't be comrades with one of their believers, right? Then Kokichi didn't know your true identity either. <laughs> what a hopeless existence. If he you didn't had. know, hey, no one was gonna find out. <laughs> to the end, he had no idea the object of his worship was right under his nose. That's crazy. I, I don't care about your story. Tell us about the people watching. Who's this killing game being shown to? Where are the survivors of humanity? There's nobody watching. Huh? We were the last 16 people alive, you know. Who could be watching? Humanity is gone. No, you're lying. If this isn't being shown to anyone, why care so much about rules? You're the one who keeps talking about making the game interesting. For whom? That was just a part of my perfect reproduction. Your what? I just perfectly oh, changed so my own killing game is all. Just the original was meant to be shown, so that's how I made mine. You just wanted to recreate the past killing game. That's it? Yep, that's it. She's not Junko until she does her southern accent. <laughs> there are no survivors of humanity. Things are just as you recall. That is the truth of the Ultimate Academy killing game! No, that's wrong! Oh dear! I am so surprised! Maybe we all remember that there's no one left out there. But how do we know our memories are real? True, true. What do you mean by that? You think your memories are wrong? There's something that's been bothering me about our memories. Here, look at this book. The Complete History of Hope's Peak Academy? This book contains years of research about Hope's Peak Academy. Nothing would indicate this book is a prop. I believe the information here is accurate, but there's a lot written in here that differs from our memories. What is different? To know that for certain, I'll need everyone's help. I want you all to tell me everything that you remember about Hope's Peak Academy. We just need to talk about what we remember from Hope's Peak? Um, so it started with the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak. Yeah. It would not be hyperbole to say that event brought this... Yeah. And it was all caused by a single high school girl. Yeah, it was me! Junko Enoshima enrolled in Hope's Peak Academy as the ultimate fashionista. But my real identity was the ultimate despair. In order to cover the world in despair, I put my plans... Wait a minute. Something doesn't add up here. Huh? I detect no discrepancy in my memory banks. In my yes. memory banks? Everything we just said is just like we remember it. But it doesn't match what's written in the history of Hope's Peak Academy. I'll determine exactly why later. For now, I need to identify the discrepancy. So you gotta play? Spot the difference! Point out 
about what everyone is mistaken about in their memories of Hope's Peak Academy. I played all the games and I don't even know it right now. All right, time to play some Dongon Rumpa trivia. Oh my God, really? Is this really gonna be a trivia game? Oh no. Okay, I'll do my best. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. That event originated at Hope's Peak Academy. Inspiring okay. war and terrorism around the world. The cause of all that despair was just a single high school girl. A student at Hope's Peak Academy. The ultimate despair, Junko Enishima. Her eyes are I did different, everything though. in my power to spread despair over the entire world. Something about that statement just doesn't match up with the history. A single high school girl. That's wrong! Yeah, she had people that were helping her, obviously. One high school girl started the tragedy. The ultimate despair. Junko Enoshima. At least, that's what I remember. But that's not what this book says. Ultimate despair doesn't just refer to Junko Enoshima. It refers to a group and the movement that came after. To put it simply, there's more to ultimate despair than Junko Inoshima. Yeah, what's his face, right? Kamakura, right? This is the first time I've heard about this. Pretty sure it's Kama Kamakura. Wasn't Junko the ultimate despair? Is that, was that his name? Uh, it's all hard to remember, but um, I'm thinking of freaking That's Ajime, what I recall basically. as well. That label should only apply to her. Coincidences sure are scary. Everyone misremembered the same thing. Coincidence? Misremembered? It's no coincidence. I know there's a difference in these memories. And that's not all. There are other discrepancies I'd like to point out. Ugh, does it even matter? I'm bored already. Just shut up. So, let's continue where we left off. Junko resorted to different tactics to cover the world with despair. The killing game between the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy, for example. They were locked up and forced into the killing game by the ultimate despair. But boo-hoo! When I, the one who started it all, died, events were set in motion. And the world began to move towards restoration. Then the fight between the future Foundation and the remnants of despair raged on! The worst case scenario was avoided! Yay! A happy ending. Yet there are more points of conflict with the history. I'll point those out next. Okay. The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history happened because Junko had prepared countless ways of spreading despair. Like the killing game of the 78th class of Hope's Peak Academy. They were held prisoner by the ultimate despair and forced into the killing game. Oh, I have some bad news about that. The events that my death set in motion are only now reaching their climax. So the remnants of despair in the Future Foundation are still fighting, but for now, we've avoided the worst of it. Oh, okay. Took me a second, but I got it. I got it. It wasn't the ultimate despair that trapped the 78th class in Hope's Peak Academy. It was the class themselves. They shut themselves in. Shut themselves in? Why would they shut themselves in? It has to do with the Hope's Peak Academy shelter project. During the tragedy, the 78th class trapped themselves inside Hope's Peak Academy for protection. So our memory of the 78th class being trapped by the ultimate despair are you saying our memories are wrong? It just means those documents were written all half-assed. There's no need to worry about it. Your memories are all correct. What you've been saying isn't consistent. First you said it was just coincidence. Huh. Is that so? Let's just move on. I want to talk about one more thing from our memories. It's about the rebuilt Hope's Peak Academy that we were attending. What about Hope's Peak Academy? We're back. There's no doubt that the 16 of us were students at Hope's Peak Academy. We heard it had been rebuilt and was accepting applications for talented students again. And so, we gathered at the brand new Hope's Peak Academy. Since Hope's Peak Academy was large, we were all in separate classes. 
But there's no doubt we were students of the new school. And just like I thought, there's something wrong there. But why? Why are our memories so different? Well, they were obviously planted. Hope's Peak Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. We found out. We came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge school. Okay, yeah, didn't know. I was Hope's Peak Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. And we found out. We came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge school. Which is why we were all in different classes. But we're all the same! That's right! We were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Uh -huh. I was... Hope's Peak Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. And we found out. We came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge school. Which is why we were all in different classes. But we're all the same! That's right! We were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Hope's Peak Academy was rebuilt. And with that, recruitment of talented students resumed. And we found out. We came to the new Hope's Peak Academy. The new Hope's Peak Academy was a huge school. Which is why we were all in different classes. But we're all the same! That's right! We were all students of Hope's Peak Academy. Students. Oh, well, it's gotta be this one then. That's wrong! We remember Hope's Peak Academy taking applications from talented students. But that's not what's written here. The Academy did not take applications. All of their students were scouted. Scouted? I've never heard that. I wasn't scouted. I applied to Hope's Peak Academy on my own. Me too. I chose to come to Hope's Peak. At least, that's what I remember. Are you saying we're remembering it wrong? But what if this book's just wrong? Researchers make mistakes too. Maybe so, but I'm not getting all this from just the book. There is other evidence as well. Other what? How is he the talking? The game we're in now is one that began with Hope's Peak Academy. So this is the third game after Hope's Peak and Jabberwock Island. But remember what Rantaro said? Oh my god, my dog. What? <laughs> She's like, can you, can you see her? <laughs> She's crazy. Are you Junko? <laughs> She's black and white. I knew I couldn't trust you. This is the real mastermind behind the killing game, my dog, Dee Dee. Yeah, look at her. Even if that were true, I couldn't stay mad at you. You're too adorable. I had to let her outside. Well, the truth, this isn't your first killing game. You're the ultimate survivor. You survived the last killing game. But Rantaro's name wasn't listed among the past participants of the game. That's an interesting not present at the two killing games that Junko orchestrated. Then... Which killing game did Rantaro participate in? I'm not entirely sure, but it's clearly inconsistent, isn't it? And the inconsistencies don't stop there. Kokichi's account is also suspect. Kokichi's account is incon- Oh, an inconsistency? Do tell. We remember Kokichi as a remnant of despair, but I don't think that's true. He wasn't a remnant of despair. He wasn't a remnant of despair? That's impossible! He was definitely a remnant of despair. No, not according to the picture. He was teammates with Ronald McDonald. And they strolled the streets. Doing all kinds of pranks. The remnants of despair were the ones who tried to stop the Gopher Project. And Kokichi was their leader. If he was the one leading the remnants of despair, then he must have been second only to the ultimate despair herself. No, that was yes, the that was Hajime, he loved wasn't me more that? Than anyone. Yeah. Like an obsessed fan hiding in the bushes. So where's your proof he wasn't a remnant of despair? Show him. Show him. All 
Alright, Kokichi's motor video. This is it! The motor video we found in Kokichi's dorm room. Yes, he's the ultimate supreme leader, Dice. Yeah, that's what it was. And by mayhem, I mean petty nonviolent crimes and harmless pranks. An organization centered around petty crimes, one that forbids murder. And in addition to that, the group was only 10 people. That's far too few to be the same group that tried to sabotage the Gopher Project. Yeah. Meaning that whatever group Kokichi was a part of is not the remnants of despair. His Kokichi's motive got nice video pants, clearly though. contradicts our memories. The memory we have of Kokichi being a remnant has to be false. I would have never told him that while he was alive, but you know, I want him to know now. Mm. He wasn't a remnant of despair? <laughs> That's not possible. Come to think of it, we never actually heard it directly from him. But it's still not possible. Kokichi didn't tell us because he wasn't exposed to that flashback light. And neither was Kaito. It's all very, very convenient. Kaito didn't appear to know anything about the remnants of despair or Junko Inosh. If they'd been exposed to it, maybe we'd know the truth. Maybe it's better that they weren't. I think the people who were affected by that flashback light were wrong. Mm -hmm. What do you well, yeah, mean? Yeah, because obviously you, you can create fake ones. And that All was of the... these weird inconsistencies yeah. are from memories we got from the flashback lights. So the flashback lights are the cause? You found the classroom that makes all the flashback lights, right, Shuichi? Yes, and I noticed something strange about it. I actually did a little experimenting with a device hidden in the room. It allowed you to select the memory that a flashback light would recover. However, some of the memories were inconsistent with each other. One might say there are survivors, but another would say there are no survivors. Bizarre, right? The flashback lights allegedly help us recover our memories. We're supposed to remember the truth that we forgot, and there should only be one truth. But then, having the option to recover contradictory memories doesn't make sense. Then what are you saying? Huh? The flashback light isn't for recovering lost memories? Is that what you're saying? Then what was it for? To deceive us. What was it for, huh? Go on, tell them. What are the flashback lights for? Hangman's Gavit. Deceit. I don't know. I'm really guessing here. Implant. Implant. Oh my god. Implant memories. Never mind. I know the word. Ugh. Implanting memories. Okay. Well, I could have told you that. We don't need to play Hangman. Yes, that's it. The flashback light isn't supposed to help us remember anything. It's a tool for implanting false memories. Implanting. Memories? Yes. The memories you could select for the flashback lights weren't our real memories. They were memories to be implanted inside us. That's why the contents of those memories contradict each other. Once we're exposed to a flashback light, those memories become the truth to us. So the memories we recovered with the flashback lights were not real. They were all false memories. They were all lies. Lies? So AKA nothing is real. Oh, what a horrible truth. If the memories from the flashback lights are lies. Just tell me if it's a happy ending to this game, like to the whole story. You know, we never really knew if there were survivors. I get, well, I guess after Dongarapa 1, there was Despair Girls in which everything was fine until the Monocups or the, the, the Mana Kumas attacked. As far as the second game, none of that was real, and, and the Future Foundation was there, but that's all we know, and it's just, uh... Then everything was a lie! All the suspense and foreshadowing was for nothing! Can you believe it? It's like everything that happened didn't matter at it's all. It's exactly, which is a little disappointing. Well, that is what it means.
Huh? Flies are just like snowballs. The more you roll them, the bigger they get. The bigger they are, the more fun and shocking it is when they're revealed. That's why everything up till now has been lies. That's the truth. The memories from the flashback lights were just lies? It's just as Shuichi said. The flashback lights are not for recovering lost memories. They're tools for implanting new ones. So what about all their talents and their backstories? Is all that even real? The light they emit is actually information that has been converted to light waves. That light is being directly into the brain, causing a deja vu sort of phenomenon. The brain gets confused and thinks the info it just received happened in the past. We were just confused? For example, your memories of being students of Hope's Peak Academy? Hey! <laughs> you guys don't have anything to do with Hope's Peak Academy. None of us were ever students there. It was just a fake memory. We're not students from Hope's Peak? Yep, that was all fake. Looking back, it was a mistake to have you remember Hope's Peak. I didn't originally plan on giving you those memories, but I was in a rush and overlooked all those inconsistencies, so you figured it all out. <laughs> it's hopelessly the worst! So that's why Kokichi had to die? <laughs> Good job, Mr. Detective. You got it. The only reason we thought Kokichi was a remnant was because of the flashback lights, but he did say that he was the leader of a cult organization. That was a lie he invented himself. He wanted to be the mastermind. He wanted us to believe it. That's why he lied. So what about the outside world? Explain that, huh? He usurped the mastermind's role, but in doing so, became a thorn in their side. So to get rid of that hindrance, the mastermind played along with the lie. The mastermind manipulated us into thinking Kokichi was a remnant of despair. At the same time, having everyone remember Hope's Peak Academy made you guys target him because you thought he was a remnant of despair. You were using the flashback lights to control us? Then the reason I tried to kill Kokichi was... You were being controlled by false memories, like putty in the mastermind's hands. But Maki wasn't the only one being controlled. You all were! Remember when Kokichi revealed the truth of the outside world? You all got so depressed, you couldn't even focus on the killing game! Wait, then, to make us recover from that, you... Yep! We gave you memories of being Hope's Peak Academy students! The symbol of hope! So you all could face despair! Well, why did I show Makoto then? That was definitely him. You... controlled us with that big memory? Well, it wasn't just that memory. It was all of them up till now. New mysteries and truths turn to motivation. Motivation drives a story. Everything from the flashback lights was just motivation to move you forward. But I guess it was fake motivation. You idiots kept getting jerked around by meaningless lies. This class trial was like that too, wasn't it? Why was it you were so motivated to do it? Because you got a memory from one of the flashback lights, right? Was that also a memory you used to control us? Hey, what was it you guys remembered from it again? At first, you ran away from the Gopher Project, humanity's last hope. You know, it does explain why I couldn't make any sense of this story. But then, you bravely chose to accept your fate. You took on all the wishes of your friends and family. And now, you remember how you got here. You remembered that you had all been entrusted with the world's hope, right? Remembering the weight of that hope should have made you feel stronger. I have to escape! I'll never give up! I won't be defeated by the mastermind! Even though Kaito and Kokichi were gone, and Kibo started to go berserk, you guys didn't give up hope. You decided to face this killing game, right? You were controlling our Why emotions? She Even our resolve to defeat the mastermind? This is a killing game. A death game where emotions run like blood. If the participants aren't trying their best to live, it's just not very exciting. Oh, the memories were fake. Then 
What was everything till now? That memory... And that memory... And that memory, 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 and that... If they were all big memories, then... Where are we? Why are we in this killing game? Yeah, who knows? My plans for mankind's last killing game kind of just fell apart. So figure out why on your own. This is a class trial, after all. Then, who are you? She has a pattern in her eyes that are different. I don't know who you are. What's not to understand? I... became me. What about that don't you get? If this killing game is connected to Hope's Peak Academy, then I believe you. This is certainly the work of someone carrying on Junko Inoshima's will, but we have nothing to do with Hope's Peak, so you can't be Junko. So who the hell are you? I mean, no one else. We're done. We're done. We're done. It's all fake. It's all fake. All of it. What? This is bullcrap. What? It's all fake. It's just like Rampa 2. Oh my god. I'm... <sighs> what is this? Huh? You know him, don't you? He was in the Jabberwock Island Killing Game. I'm Hajime Hinata. If that's not what we mean, what are you doing? What am I doing? I'm just cosplaying. Who can cosplay that fast? <laughs> cosplaying? Yeah, this is just cosplay. What? But it's not just normal cosplay, because I can perfectly replicate the character. These aren't the same voices, are they? Check it out! Even my voice sounds exactly the same! Okay, well that was the same voice. Is Junko and Oshima also? Yeah, it's my cosplay! Oh my god. Jeez, everyone! Nagito's here! Perfectly the number of characters and actually become them! What? This is the talent of the ultimate cosplayer. Hey, hey, you think you can do my favorite cosplay is Aoi? Number of characters? How could she cosplay as students of Hope's Peak Academy? Because Sumugi told us. It was all lies. She had red paint, I bet. Ah, uh, you remembered! Yes, that's exactly right! So then, what does this mean? Makoto? What? If what I said was the truth. Then Hope's Peak Academy was... Fake? That can't be real, what? It's fictional. It's all fictional? Fictional? The biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history never happened. No! No! What about all the episodes I made? Is my YouTube channel even real? Hope's Peak, the Future Foundation, and the Remnants of Despair do not exist. Because it's all fiction. None of it actually happened in the real world. All of those events took place within a fictional world known as Danganronpa. What are these voices? They sound so much different. Danganronpa! Danganronpa? What? What are you even talking about? What? You've never heard Miu. of Danganronpa? Me caught him at! We're all characters in it. Sorry. That's right. Me, that nasty pig bark, and everyone else are all fictional. So this is why the same voice actors are in here, because they had to voice these characters, although some of them are different from the first game, I think. Hold on. Then, Hope's Peak Academy doesn't exist? Nope, because it's fiction. Doesn't exist in the real world. What? Isn't that surprising? Yeah. Up till now, you thought fiction was fact. Fiction is just fiction. Dungan Rampa's just fiction. This whole Dungan Rampa story was just stuffed into your mind. Hey, that's the right voice. For that reason, you all believed that work of fiction was in Sonya? fact reality. And that's how we put on a cosplay performance. Me, oh, I'm getting the names so mixed up. Oh, sorry. There's like 50 million characters in these games. A cosplay performance of the whole wide Dungan Rampa world. Ibuki. The whole wide world. So, this was all fake. 
everything was made up? We don't know. We don't know if this is true. Yeah, what about freaking the end of Danganronpa 2 though? Like, Juku's hand on Nagito? I know I didn't finish the anime, and I will. I just haven't. I don't know if it explains any of this, but I gotta go let my dog back in, so excuse me. So this- Did you think the ultimate cosplayer's talent was only limited to characters? So was this whole game just a trick to the player that's playing it? It'd be kinda lame if that was all the big bad mastermind could do. I can do far more than that. I can cosplay the world itself. So if you want to make me your enemy, then your enemy is the world of Danganronpa I got itself. A... Danganronpa itself? But why? Why would you do this? Why make us think it's real? Well, duh. It's so you don't play the killing game. Owie, come here. <laughs> oh, God. I'm so stupid. I asked you guys a long time ago, will I see Owie again? And, and... I don't think anyone said yes, I don't think. Or maybe someone did. I don't remember it. But I finally saw her again. Why she have a mark on her face though? This is the world of Gangan Rampa, you know? Where you hiccup? No shit, we're playing the killing game. But it's not just any killing game. Oh, there he is. Everyone's favorite character. It's a killing game that takes place in the real world, propped up by fiction. In other words, it's ultimate real fiction. <laughs> say crap, say that you gotta use the toilet. Ultimate real fiction? But if it's fiction, if everything isn't real. Uh, I'm still not sure if I buy this, though. That wasn't then, really owie. The world being in ruins is also fiction, right? The world outside is fine, right? Right, of course. How did you like that scene? Our staff worked very hard on it. Staff? There's no need to worry about the people backstage. Anyway, back to our conversation. You guys can just relax. The world hasn't been destroyed. Really? It's not destroyed? Then we can all go home and- uh, That ain't happening. <laughs> Why? If the world is still intact, then we have homes to return to- I told you that ain't happening, you dumb sea urchin headed. Wait, that's me. How come I don't remember his voice sounding like that? And I, I don't know, it's been so long, it feels like, so I can't remember it. Monokuma, what's going on? Do you really want to know? Yeah. <laughs> Forget about the world. It wants nothing to do with you. The walls of this academy are your world now. The outside world is of no concern to you. The audience certainly agrees with me. Isn't that right, you guys? Audience? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, oh, people! It's actual people? It's just like the Truman Show. This is what I said. My husband Shuichi. Oh, dude! People are like, I love him. Who are these people? They've all been watching this killing game transpire. This is the exact plot of the freaking Truman Show. Of course, those you see here are only a fraction of our total viewers. Watching us. It's just like Shuichi said. This was all arranged because people want to see it. Sayaka! So this was all a show. This whole killing game. Yeah. Everyone in this whole peaceful world watches this show. Peaceful world? The outside world is peace itself. There's no despair or wars and... It's all the people in this peaceful world okay, are straight up this crazy is for this crazy. killing game! <laughs> I mean, I'm happy to see the other characters, but why would a peaceful like world need a game like this? What's happening in my mind? <sighs> it's because the world is so peaceful that this killing game is necessary! It is so very peaceful, and so... It is so very boring. With so much peace, people have become bored. 
They need stimulation. He created this ultimate real fiction so Danganronpa could fulfill that need. Every person in the outside world was watching this is a huge Danganronpa fan. He was watching. <sighs> everyone loves the killing games. This killing game is for everyone, so it's everyone's killing school semester. This killing game is the latest entry in Danganronpa. The long-awaited sequel that everyone has been waiting for. This is the truth of this killing game. Isn't it the ultimate real fiction? Holy crap, man. We... We were forced to play some fictional killing game? Danganronpa! You noticed way too late. There's no Danganronpa without Monokuma. Since I'm here, that means this is Danganronpa! Danganronpa. What the heck? It's a self advertisement. This entire game was just to sell merch. <laughs> Can you tell? It's the title of the current Dungan Rampa you guys are doing. I knew it. I knew that this branding was so well. There had to be a reason. A testament to the unquenchable thirst. This Gundam Denaka. Has for Dungan Rampa. What do you mean? Dungan Rampa has gone on so long because the whole world enjoys and supports it. Huh? Has it gone on for years? Did you forget what season of Duncan Rampa this is? You guys are dumber than ants. What do you think? What? What number killing game is this? What season do you think we're on? You should be able to tell from the logo. <laughs> Three. <laughs> <laughs> and if that's not enough of a hint, just feast your eyes below my bed. What killing? What does that have to do with anything? Well, uh, <laughs> zero. Wait, V three. Oh, that would mean eight. That's where the V comes from. It's eight. Nope. Wait, did, did I? Was that right? Or fifty-eight? Fifty-three. Well, if it was Roman numerals or something, I don't know. That's what I was thinking of, I guess. Could this be the 53rd one? Ding ding! Correct! This is the 53rd season of Dongan Rampa! That's a lot. What? In other words, Dongan Rampa V3's official name is Dongan <laughs> Rampa 53! And I thought Final Fantasy had a lot of games. The 25 was the best, it says in the background. Starting with the Hope Speak Academy arc in Danganronpa 1, 2, then 3. Oh my god. Look at all these logos. This is why you guys said you have to watch the anime. The seasons just kept coming. And with it came more killing games. Until it transcended games and anime to become this. The ultimate real fiction! <laughs> There's gonna be a lot more Danganronpa games then. <laughs> but how could they make more? It's already been spoiled if this is true, right? And now, we're in the 53rd season of Danganronpa! Uh, 53rd season? What? Did the letter in there throw you off? Well, I guess that happens. But isn't it just rad how it looks like a letter, but it's really a number? Our Not me. Is the 53rd. As this is the 53rd game we have masterminded. It was supposed to be a hint, but whatever. I'm all Since this is the 53rd season, one would expect to see a multitude of characters. But you only have memories from the first two, so you wouldn't recognize any others. That's why I've limited myself to only cosplaying as Hope's Peak characters. Is it sinking in yet? This killing game is just the 53rd season of Danganronpa. The 53rd Danganronpa. Danganronpa. Trapped in a fictional Danganronpa-inspired world and forced to play the killing game. That is what the world desired from you. So yes, I'm the mastermind. But the real mastermind forcing you to do this is... It just shows the developer of the game. The 
people of the outside world! They're all voting, the aren't they? The people of the outside world are the ones who are forcing you to do this! The whole world? Is the real mastermind? The reason I made this world? The reason you guys did the killing game? It's all because the outside world wants it, you know? It's not just me. It's everyone involved in this project. Project? What? You don't know what that is? Is your brain leaking oil or something? I feel like the it. The managing this killing game aren't psychos like the remnants of despair. They're literal managers! Lip so I want to hear your best guess. What company is running this show? Uh... Apple. <laughs> nope. Team Dong and Rampa. Uh, I'm gonna go with Team Dong and Rampa. No? Okay, then it's this one. Did I not pick that? I did pick that. That was my first answer! Okay, I don't know what I did wrong, but okay. Team Danganronpa? Yeah! The company that makes Danganronpa is called <laughs> Team Danganronpa! You guys are behind in your studies! The audience knew the answer right away! It's in the title credits at the start, too. Oh, it's making me watch it again. Okay. It was like one flash. Yeah, I mean, I I thought it was weird a little bit that it played like all the references from the original game. Well, I guess we have to watch this again. I really gotta finish that freaking anime, though. <laughs> no, I gotta see these games. I gotta see these games right here. Guys, I hope you're ready for like 10 more games. I hope you're ready. Oh, 50. Dude, I'm gonna be like 100 years old playing. Guys, welcome back to... <laughs> it's gonna be, it's gonna be longer than Yandere Simulator's playlist. The story is not over. A new. Okay. So this is way in the future. I'm also a part of Team Danganronpa. Oh. We make the finest killing entertainment. Everyone enjoys our work oh so much. I do. I and do. And our newest project is Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. A heart pounding killing game brought to life by Ultimate Real Fiction. Shut up. Shut up. You created an entire fictional world to make us do this fictional killing game? But if those characters weren't a part of it, then what would make these kill it? What would make these characters real? They're not real. No matter no how many real. false memories we've been implanted with, we aren't fictional! You sure about that? What? By the way, I don't want to do this anymore. Let me go home already! That's impossible. Didn't I tell you that you have no homes to go back to? What? Why not? Because you're just like us. You only exist within the world of Duncan Rampa. Just Thank like you for answering you? that. <laughs> Still don't get it? You just need to ask yourselves one question. Who the hell are you guys? 
Who are we? We are fictional characters. We're the same. We're all just like you? Yes, that's right. You're all fictional too. Huh? We're just fictional characters created solely for this killing game. Oh, I realized it I just realized it says V3. Okay. On the Nothing ice. we can do about it, I'm afraid. Dangan Rampa's that kind of property. What are you saying? We are not fictional! We're living, breathing people! Your immaterial existence is a fabrication independent of your actual flesh and blood. Yep, you're all fictional. You guys out there beyond the fourth wall already knew that, right? Yeah, of course I did. You didn't look like this when you first came to the Ultimate Academy. Those were your true selves. Now you're all just fictional characters. That's the truth. Then our real identities, our true identities are... Ultimates and uh, normal people? Uh, uh. Just normal, average, everyday people with no ultimate talent whatsoever. Perfect person to deliver that line. When you guys came to this academy for the first time, you were just boring, everyday high school students. With no talents! Yeah, Didn't I say that? No talent. I said this! Just like me. Oh! Ugh! I have the gift. I have the gift. I actually have the gift. I said... What did I say? I said that their talents... Get this, right? Get this? They were dressed different. Why? Because they were implanted the talents. Right? I thought it was weird. Why are they dressed different? I said it. Go back. Go back. Or I'll put a clip. Hopefully I remember but to put that. I find it really odd that she knew that she was kidnapped, but she didn't know that she was an ultimate. In fact, she said that she didn't have a talent. And they gave them new clothes. I'm starting to believe that all of these students are probably reserve students. And they don't have a talent. And they were implanted memories from other people. Ooh, I bet you that's it. Because that would make sense, right? It's probably part of the experiment that, that went on in Danganronpa 2 with all the machines. I could see that happening. They just believe they have talents, but they're not actually talented. Or maybe they are talented now, but they weren't before. I'm on to you, game. Everyday characters have no right to be in Danganronpa, so you are all made more suitable for your new But role. are they real people? Everyone remembered thanks to the first flashback light. You were all given personalities, talents, and upbringings to create your characters. Much like that delightful documentary, Making a Murderer. I'm not aware of that documentary. It was at that point that the prologue of this story began. Which means your ultimate talents are all just fiction. Our talents as well? Yep. Your talents are a bunch of lies. I can't believe I I can't believe I, mean, I called it. I really don't. They you to a certain extent, but mostly in a placebo effect sort of way. Kind of like a form of auto-suggestion. You know, like if you do it, it'll all work out. But it's not just your talents, it's your personalities, families, memories. It's all fiction, created by the flashback light. Can you really say you're not fictional now? Even if your body is real, your identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fiction. So there's people really dying on TV then. Are you really saying none of this is fictional now? So what about the other people? Wait a minute. What are you babbling about? That's what I don't get. Who's Our real and who wasn't? Identities, personalities, talents, and past are all fictional? That's stupid! It's not stupid! Isn't this what you all wanted? You wanted this? Yeah, you wouldn't remember, but you guys were all from the outside world. It's not strange at all that you'd want to be part of the show you love. No way! The contestants Are you saying we wanted to decided to go game? into the show? That's not possible! How could we ever- Please, everyone, take a look at this!
Number 154. My name is... <sighs> I've always been such a huge fan of Danganronpa and always wanted to be in one. Oh my god, it's an obsessed fan. If I were a contestant, I would want to be an ultimate detective. I know there's been a few in the past, and I've always loved those characters, so I would want to be one of them. Uh, but I don't have to be a detective. I'll be anything to be part of the show. And I mean that. Anything. I do anything to be part of Duncan Rampa. Why? Why would I you promise want this? if I get selected, I will work as hard as I can. Why would someone want to do this? I will come up with the best, most gruesome murders. I promise. Everyone will love it. And an ultimate detective hasn't been the blackened yet, so I'm sure I could do that. What? I'm also thinking about the perfect punishment for an ultimate detective. What was that? <laughs> Wasn't that you, Shuichi? No, it can't be. I'd never say something like... You wouldn't say that now, but this is you before you became who you are now. What? When we saw your audition tape, we had a flash of inspiration. The weakest ultimate detective ever. Wouldn't it be great to see him grow? And that's why we made your character and had you join the gang. The rest of you are no different. You auditioned and were selected as well. Auditioned? I want to see Gonta's. <laughs> yeah. You were all so excited when you were what was, selected. What was Gonta like? He must have been totally sophisticated. I believe it was right after you all received your ultimate wardrobe. Huh? How nice! Yeah. Wow. Huh? So... Look at the memory y'all have been waiting for. You guys all are right. ready? Get ready. Once the seal is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. Killing game? Could it be? You mean we were selected? All right. We got picked? Really? All right. <laughs> oh, really? I'm selected for it too? We really said that? That's a lie. I have no memory of that. You just forgot is all. Because of the flashback light we used on you. The people you used to be are gone. You're fictional characters now. Do you finally understand? You are all flesh and blood fictional characters. So you got nowhere to return! All that stuff's fiction too! Then... My friends and family... My whole life before coming here... All fiction! That's what a backstory is! You can't go back home, because there is no such place! Just like how there's no Togami Corporation in the real world. The only place we fictional characters can live is in this fictional world. Only in this world. Only in Danganronpa. Only in this world? Yes! The place you're actually trapped inside is the Danganronpa world! That's why you guys can't leave this place! That's why your only option is to continue the killing game here! You're all fictional characters, created to kill each other! It's what the world wants! That's why... There's nowhere to run. Enough. I don't want to know anything else. I've had enough. Ugh, that reaction. You fell into despair. It's times like these, you need to look to your friends for support. However, all your friends are fictional too. And he likes anime. That's so, like, rich coming from him. For example, even Kaito's illness was given to him as part of his character. What? What? I was the one who came up with that plotline and gave him that virus. I was also the one who came up with the plotline where you fell for Kaito. <gasps> what are you saying? Then what about Tangle? Was she always defending me because... Because that was her character. It's the same for me too. A character created to bring excitement to the killing game, much like myself. So the killing game swelled with excitement. Even my pants started to swell too. You, you're telling us this is all a lie? Even my feelings? Are you saying even those were lies? Well, if you're going to call fiction a lie, then yes. Everything in this world has a writing credit. All our words and actions are just a bunch of lies. For example, 
An unbreakable vow of brotherhood is just a simple plot line. You said it, bro. However, oh, the bros, a plot the line. bros. Even that thing the bros were alive. How can the bros be alive? I believe in you, so you should believe in yourself. That was a lie, cause the real Kaede said. I'm perfect for a killing game. I don't have any faith in humanity. Oh. And who could forget Kaito's inspiring line? Don't forget the impossible is possible. All you gotta do is make it so. That was a lie! Cause the real Kaito said! I'm not just gonna be a dunk on Ronpa! I'm gonna kill everybody and win! Wow, what a difference! Once I got fame and fortune, I don't gotta worry about what's impossible. It's all fiction! It's all a lie! Every single thing that has happened in this killing game... ...is a lie! Yeah, yeah, you said that. The reason we're all here right now is because of them. Because of them, I was able to change. That's why I was trying to live for them too. I was trying so hard to stay positive. But even if that's a lie... Oh, I think my brain would just break. I would just fall over. Why am I here? Why did I even survive this long? This is fiction. There's no greater meaning. No greater meaning to death. Hey, no greater meaning Yuzuru, Kamakura, I knew I was, I, I was right when I said Kamakura. It's all fiction. There's no meaning to be found in any of it. It's so gross I could just bark. Well, I guess it makes sense you wouldn't believe all this stuff. How about that? You in despair yet? It will be troublesome for us if you don't despair under our rule. What? Duncan Rumpa's all about despair. The reason this killing game's so popular, why it's gone on for 53 seasons. That reason is despair. Viewers flock to see your despair. That's why all those people out there look so happy! See? It's all for their entertainment. S-tier despair! <laughs> Shuichi's reaction, lol. <laughs> what? It's like my comment what section! What is this? Is this despair? Is this what the outside world wants? Is this what they want from us? Oh, don't have the energy to yell? Well, yelling for help is useless for fictional characters anyway. It makes the viewers even more depraved and obsessed when they feel sorry for you. They watch, knowing that they shouldn't, just to revel in the depravity of it all. That depravity is the appeal of death games. It's the appeal of this very killing game. It's the appeal of Danganronpa itself. So what are we supposed to do? Huh? What was that? What are we supposed to do? What's going to happen to us? Huh? What are you guys talking about? Weren't you going to ruin the class trial and end the killing games? Go ahead and stop it if you can! Try and stop a world obsessed with it! There's no way to stop it. It's impossible. Oh, are you giving up already? It's all a lie, isn't it? Me, everyone here, everyone who died. Everything's a lie, right? I can't fight for a lie, can I? Oh! What's the matter? Are you in despair? No matter how much you grow, Shuichi, you're still weak after all. Now that you know it's all lies, you've gone back to the weak ultimate detective. Hmm, 
Oh, I don't know what I'm waiting for. I don't know what I'm waiting for. This pleases us. It is a despair fit for tongue and uh, romper. I'm really worried about getting copyrighted about this music, but. Well, that was surprisingly disappointing. But I guess it's okay. We're still on script. So if this part's muted, you know why? There's music playing that's probably copyright. So I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, but I hope not. Maybe I'll just reread it over the edit when I edit it, if that's the case. Everything's meaningless. Everything we've done, everything we've faced together. All of our feelings. Oh, the menu's going away. What? Pitch black lies. It doesn't matter how many mysteries you solve. The mysteries were all fiction in the first place. All scripted. It's all over. It's all just a lie anyway. It doesn't matter what you do. It's over now. Bad end? What you mean, bad end? Is this the end? Please tell me I'm asking you. Oh my god! No, not this again! <laughs> I can't do this again! <laughs> Just don't sing happy birthday, please. Whenever I was in trouble, my inner voice would always guide me. That guidance is what brought me here. I don't believe that's a mistake. So, I will trust it. Please tell me, what should I do? Please tell me your decision. Where did I go wrong? Save this situation? Yes? Huh? Come again? I selected no. Remedy this situation? Yes. Kibo? I hear your voices crystal clear. Okay, that all that kind of scared me. My inner voice is telling me I need to remedy this situation. We're his inner voice? That is why I will not give up. I will not give up hope until the very end. We can't give up. No matter what, hope is always within reach. We must keep our heads high and search for hope, especially in deepest despair. Hope? Huh? Huh? What? You said so yourself. This killing game is the ultimate real fiction. If this is both real and fiction, then logically it can't all be fictional. Even if this world is fiction, even if we're fiction, there must be something we can do. So there must be a way to break through this. I won't give up hope, not ever. Jeez, oh, how annoying. The outside world doesn't just want despair, it wants hope too. If our voices have reached the outside world, then what my inner voice is telling me is... Oh, your inner voice? That's the voice of the outside world. What? I know, because I wrote your plot line too. There's no way I wouldn't know who again. that is you're hearing. I, I, I thought something was going to be different. That's the voice of the outside world. The voice of the outside world? From the start of this killing game, you've had a unique role. You're the audience surrogate! Audience surrogate? Your inner voice allows communication between yourself and the audience. That function exists to keep the audience entertained. Now tell me, what is your inner voice? Speak clearly and enunciate! What is my inner voice? If I'm a surrogate for the audience, and we've been communicating this whole time then, 
My inner voice is actually... They told me to enunciate. The mastermind's... Will. The master... The audience survey. This is it! An audience survey? <laughs> well done! Yes! It's two-way communication that lets you participate in the program from home. That is your inner voice's true nature. The results of an audience survey. The voice I relied on for guidance was just the audience answering survey questions? Every move you made was dictated by the audience's answers to that survey. For this season of Danganronpa, the main gimmick is audience participation. That antenna on your head lets you receive their answers. So when this it fell off... Antenna? When your antenna broke and you went crazy, that was a big problem for us. We got flooded with complaints from the audience. But that's not your only role. You're also the audience's camera. So that's why he wanted to destroy everything. C camera Your eyes! Oh, he's the Are main the character. Eyes of the audience itself. Is that what that the means? Audience's eyes. The outside world has been watching from your eyes the whole time. Dude, I knew the antenna meant something. It lets it's them not feel a coincidence. Like they're really a part of the Danganronpa world. It ain't no coincidence that he had one. And it's all thanks to you. That's why I'm so glad you survived all the way through. But I would have assumed. I would have assumed that the the cameras. Would have been the audience's eyes, but okay. Because now I can use you to plunge the outside world into despair. D despair? If the audience surrogate falls into despair, then the audience does too. By making you fall into despair, I can make the entire world fall into despair. My despair will turn from fiction to fact and destroy reality itself. <laughs> Isn't that just the most delightful despair? Why would you go to all this trouble? Isn't Junko and Oshima just a costume? Oh, Kibo, mon petit doudou. My cosplay is a perfect reproduction. <laughs> Actually, that right? doing stuff the characters would is totally part of that. Is that why you want the world to fall into despair? The whole point of Danganronpa. The outside world wants to see horrible setups and payoff! What could be more horrible than a fictional despair eroding the real world? No one could have imagined an end this hopeless. No. I won't give in to despair. Huh? If I'm a surrogate for the audience, then I will use my inner voice to broadcast hope to the outside world. I already fucking told you! The outside world only wants despair! Despair? There's no way to spread hope to an audience that watches killing games. No! My inner voice already told me what to do. I need to remedy this! If that's the voice of the outside world, then the outside world actually wants hope! Well, I thought it was all a game! I didn't know it was all just a show! What about the game? So I will trust the outside world. I. The ultimate hope robot! <laughs> what the heck, dude? It's freaking Makoto the robot! Hope has been recorded in the monopad! Here we go, guys. You know what part of the game it is. It may not be real, but it sure is the same as the other game. This is the power of hope. Alright, we gotta smack him in the face of some hope! I will not lose to your despair! Not when I'm carrying the hope of the outside world! Ugh, how annoying. Hope? That's not popular. Well, if I can get someone like you to fall into despair, that'd be a great ending. I keep forgetting I can look around. I won't let you do that. Hope will never give in to despair. Is that why we can look around? And, and if that is the case, how can he ever see himself? Just saying. Oh, you're going to go that far? Let's settle this. The final battle between hope and despair. Now that's what Dongan Rappa's all about! Settle this how? Yes, that is a problem. The class trial is in disarray because Monokuma broke a rule. 
You're the one who broke the rule. How about we start over and have a special vote? A special vote? But you're the one who broke the rules in the first place. Whatever, man. We've made it this far together. Let's just do one last vote. Cause that's what Dongan Rapa's all about! This final special vote will determine between Kibo and I, which of us should get punished? Oh. Oh, well, it's time to save it then. This will be a vote to determine how this story ends. You guys have to decide whether this story ends in hope or despair. To end in hope? To end in despair? We decide? Yeah, <laughs> everyone. Oh, I don't know what to do. I love that. They're oh, clearly man, just like PNG or uh, stock World photos. Starting to get jazzed up. Hope will definitely win. No. Yeah, that's right. We can't side with the mastermind. Even if that choice ends in your suffering. Suffering? All right. Let me explain what's gonna happen after the. After the vote. Kibo, representing hope, is punished, and I, representing despair, win. Then, per the rules. The killing school semester will continue until only two students remain. You're going to continue the game? No need to worry, because there aren't going to be any more murders. My predictions are always correct 30% of the time. <laughs> Even if we make new flashback light motives for you, you'd know they're lies. So no matter how many motives we provide, it's more likely that nothing will happen. Nothing will happen? We'll live happily ever after in the academy. No! That's no way to live! Imprisoned in the school? Living lives of despair? Even if you went outside, there'd be no point. As I said, all your memories are nothing but fiction. Your hometowns, your families, your friends, they never existed in the Well, they place. do have those things, right? Because they're all fiction! Dongon Rampa characters can only live in the Dongon Rampa setting. There's no reason to pull out of school. Only losers pull out. Then at least put us back how we were! Silence! Weep not over spilt milk! Huh? I told you guys already. You can't get rid of memories with flashback lights. Flashback lights can only overwrite old memories with new ones. But if you're absolutely serious, then use a flashback light to become a different fictional character instead. So we can't go back to the way we were? But yeah! How about that despair? But if I, representing despair, am punished, and Kibo, representing hope, win, then this killing game will end, of course. However, you must follow the rules. The game will continue until the final two. So only two of you can graduate. What? Out of the four of us, only two can survive? Yes, that is so. I will let you decide the two who will survive. We got this far, and you're telling us to sacrifice more of our friends? I mean, really? Like, it's just two measly sacrifices, and then the rest of you losers can leave the academy. However, even if you do escape to the outside world, you will find it most unwelcoming. No! As long as we never give up, there will always be hope. Well, if you're gonna be a pussy about it, do whatever you want. Can you choose which two will survive? Can you choose which two will be sacrificed? I sacrifice myself! What? Ooh. If it will bring hope to everyone and the outside world, I will gladly sacrifice myself. But, Kibo... It's okay. Even if it destroys my body, I will defeat despair. Kibo! Even if you sacrifice yourself, you still need one more. In order for hope to win, there needs to be one more sacrifice. Shuichi, Maki, and Himiko. One of them has to sacrifice themselves. Or hope can't win. Do you got the guts to make such a heartless choice? That's... Do you understand now? Even if you choose hope, you will still suffer. We don't need to choose the hard way. No one expects you guys to do that. Now, yeah, there will be no more killing. So let's all just stay here together. There's no reason to go outside. Let's 
stay here together. Won't you? It's just like stay the first game. Together? Stay here with you. Oh, they finally showed Chihiro. Here? I think everyone will feel a lot better after they vote for Kibo. Come on. Let's stay together. Together? Okay. Don't let her fool you. Despair won't end this killing game. Only hope will. Hope? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh. The world outside craves despair! This killing game will end in despair! Oh, I think I missed! Everyone wants to feel despair! Despair ah. lives on Gotham! Like <laughs> what the heck? This despair is gonna fuck up reality here! <laughs> yeah, I think I missed some. <laughs> Check out the website. Doesn't freaking um, oh, uh, what's her face said that too? Um, my God, Toko said the same exact thing. Check out the website. Yes, I finally did it. Hope moves forward. Well, we still have to vote, so what does it matter? I will never give up. Hope Kibo, will Kibo. Never <laughs> despair. Huh? How's not giving up gonna help you, huh? Even if you won't give up, as long as you don't sacrifice someone else. I'll sacrifice myself. Oh. What? If Kibo and I sacrifice ourselves, then Shuichi and Himiko live, right? And they can survive this absurd killing. What do I feel like Shuichi? What do I feel like Shuichi's gonna uh, volunteer as tribute? Maki? After listening to Kibo, I've decided. I don't want this killing game to end with despair. That would just piss me off. Even if you only feel that way because I wrote you like that? Just like with Kaito. Even then, I'll choose that ending if it means I can kill you. Even if I have to sacrifice my life, I will kill you. Sacrifice? Wait, Maki! I'm sorry. I've already made up my mind. What's gonna happen to us? Really go back to the outside world? What indeed? I told you over and over there's nothing for you. That's out my there. Maki. We got all the simps in the background. No, once the audience sees this ending, I'm sure they'll help us. So, is this supposed to be a reference to that, um, to like the Japanese version of YouTube? Basically, I think it's called Doga. I can't remember the name. Everything is going to be okay. We'll definitely find hope. What do you mean, hope? What? I reject that hope. Huh? I refuse. I won't accept that hope. Shuichi, what's the matter? It's because of hope that this whole thing is happening! I reject that hope! I don't understand. Hope itself well, at least is I know the, the answer. Here. We suffer because of hope. Tsumugi isn't trying to make us despair. She wants us to trust in hope. So I say no. I reject that hope. Sumugi wants us to trust in hope? What does that mean? The reason this madness has gone on 53 times is because of hope. It's because the audience wants hope. They want to see hope defeat despair in the end. It's Hope's Peak Academy all over again. So if we fight for hope, we just be giving them what they want. And the killings will never end. Don't you see? Despair is the only choice. I will cut down your words. Despair takes everything from people, even their strength to press onward. That's why it's not possible for despair to be better. The people watching probably feel the same way. They want hope too. What? Even if it's fiction, everyone wants to feel hope. It gives them courage. And this killing game continues because we keep giving them the hope they want. While they ignore all the tragedies that we had to suffer to get there. 
Shuichi, that's... Then let's start the voting time! What? The final vote! It's all gonna end here! You and your shitty hope! Wait! We're not finished talking! Please, let me just ask one more thing. I have to know something before we vote. What is it? If Hope wins this final vote, Kibo and Maki will sacrifice themselves, and you, Sumugi, the loser, will also be punished, correct? What kind of punishment will they receive? Please, tell me what it is. Why should I tell you? I never said anything about a punishment, did I? That's right! The punishment isn't the problem right now! The problem is... No, that is the problem. Because if the punishment is what I think it is, then everything would make sense. Including why Rantaro participated in another killing game. Rantaro? What does he have to do with this? You know the answer, Kibo. Hmm? Me? If you really are connected to the outside world, then I want you to find the answer. The final punishment. If it's the reason Rantaro participated in the killing game again after surviving, then the punishment must be... Uh, you participate in the next killing game. This is it! I got it. The punishment is you have to participate in the next killing game, right? What? Yeah, I think so. The punishment after the final vote is to participate in another killing game. That's what Rantaro was talking about. So, if they're gonna have another another game, it's definitely gotta be about about Rantaro. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what else they would do after after all this. Like, what could they do? No matter what. Something similar must have happened in the last killing game, and he was given a choice. He sacrificed himself and was forced to participate again. All this means is, if we choose hope here, the killing game won't end. Tsumugi will still be the mastermind, Kibo will still represent the viewers, and Maki will be the new ultimate survivor. The killing game will begin again. Don't you see? If hope wins, the killing won't stop. It's because hope wins that the killing never stops. It's what the people want. They want hope to win. They want the happy ending. That's how the killing game has gone on 53 times. The killing game persists because hope always wins? That's why I'm going to reject that hope. That's despair. You're going to choose despair to end the killing game. How boring. But this is fine. Our audience loves despair, so this will please them too. After all, even if Despair wins, the killing game still won't end. Then, Hope has to win this game too. If we continue to win for Hope, then this killing game will surely end someday. No, you don't get it! It's not going to end. It's going to keep happening over and over. Hey, I don't mind another Danganronpa game. Then what are we supposed to do? When Maki said she was going to sacrifice herself just now, I thought, why? So many of our friends have sacrificed their lives. Why Maki? Why now? Why do we have to go through it again? The sorrow of losing Kaede and Kaito. Why do we have to feel that sadness over and over and over again? Why do we have to bear that burden? Well, I don't care how much the audience wants it. I'm not gonna feel that way anymore. I don't want anyone to feel that way anymore. Even if this is fiction, even if we're all fictional, the pain in my heart is real. The sadness I feel when I lose the people I love is real. I won't forget this game that treats us like toys. And if this is what the world wants, then I reject that world. I'll fight the world that inflicts suffering for entertainment. Fight the outside world? It doesn't matter what you do. No matter what a fictional character does or says, it's just fiction to the outside world. Then I'll fight the outside world from within this fiction. From within this fiction? But how? I refuse to vote. Oh. Refuse to vote? He can't do that. Monokuma said that if we don't vote, we'll be killed for breaking the rules. Yes, I know. That's why I'm doing Sacrificing it. himself then. If this ends without a single vote being cast for hope or despair, the audience would hate it. 
They'd never accept an ending like that. So I abstain. I refuse to give the outside world the ending at once. I won't vote for Kibo or Sumugi. I reject both hope and despair. Hope won't end the killing game? If that's true, then this feeling that I must win for hope is... What I am supposed to do? Or what am I supposed to do? Oh. What to do? I'm gonna stop this killing game. Okay, I gotta use the bathroom. I'm sorry. Oh. Woo! Guys. I mean, can we pause this for a second? Like, this is the longest episode I've ever recorded. Oh, here we go, though. You can't stop it. Oh, I can't too. I'll be out of a job. <laughs> Don't make Monaco man to quit his job. Our suffering and pain is real. It was rough for me too. It's a death thing. What the fuck you gonna do? Ain't it better to just let it end with despair? <laughs> I reject both hope and despair. I love all the references. I reject a world that would make us do this. Which is why I abstain from voting. So this won't end in hope or despair. You can't throw away your futures. Hope is contagious. Right, right. I was supposed to hit it there. I hope is contagious. But still. Kibo, what are you doing? Did your inner voice really tell you to do that? Did it tell you to reject hope? No. My inner voice is still telling me not to give up on hope. But if that hope demands tragedy from us, then I cannot trust it. I may Go be back a robot, home. but the thought of Show my us friends Maki still fills me with sadness. I don't want anyone else to feel this way, so I will abandon hope. Oh, I'm not controlling the game anymore, I don't think. Uh, yes, I am. Do you know what will happen if you do that? To defy the audience? I don't give a damn. This killing game is over anyway. New characters are created just to show the outside world a fictional hope. They get written into these killing games, forced to betray one another. And at the end of the slaughter, the tragedy, the despair, hope always wins. Well, I've had enough of it. We're gonna end this right now. We won't let it end the way they want. We won't make a good ending or a bad one to end this killing game and end it forever. Reject Dongan Ranpa! Shuichi? Tsumugi, you were right. I'm weak. I'm weaker than everyone else. If I didn't have my friends, I'd be useless. That's true even now. If Kibo and Maki didn't stand up, I would have ended it all right then. But it's because I'm weak and because I lost my way that I finally realized. I finally realized how cruel this hope really is. Hold on, everyone. If we keep thinking, we can find a better ending. And Kimiko, Maki, will you abstain from voting with me? Yeah? Abstain from voting? We can't do that. All three of you will be killed if you do. You guys really want to commit? It's still a sin to throw your life away, even if your life is fictional. You've been fighting so hard to survive, but now you're gonna give up? Such foolishness! To cast your life away is the height of stupidity! I... I... Kimiko, we can put an end to this insane killing game! We're gonna use our lives to end this madness! Use our lives? But Himiko, you have to choose, okay? You can't look away, you can't back down, you have to choose. Only those who have found the truth can choose their destiny. Now she's the main character. I don't know. If so, then I... Use Our Lives has been recorded to the monopad. If 
we refuse to vote, we all die. To choose death is to blaspheme against life itself! Hope and despair. Neither the victor. No one would want an ending like that. You would throw your life away for that? That would be a meaningless death! No, it wouldn't! Our lives are our strongest weapons. And with these weapons, we revolt against the outside world. Revolt against the outside world. I agree. I'm going to put an end to it. Even if I'm a fictional character, my life is real. That's why killing games are fun, right? It's fun to see two lives clash, right? I won't let you use my life for some show. Use my life to end this killing game. So Tanko, Angie, and all the past victims can rest in peace. Use the only weapon I've got. I'll use my life to put an end to this killing game. Perhaps that thought is just another work of fiction, following along my outline. It could be a part of my script, just like Maki falling for Kaito, you know? Because if none of you vote, and I do, then I'll be the only one who survives! Doesn't that sound exactly like something the big bad mastermind would come up with? Yeah, kinda. <laughs> it's okay, Maki. Believe in me. And believe in yourself. Just like you believed in Kaito. Believe... in myself? That's why you have to fight, even if you're scared. Because you have that strength. Come on! It'd be a lousy story if the hero gave up so easily. All right, Maki. Oh, and all that might be, I don't know why I'm skipping it. And it might be implanted as well, just like my feelings for Kaito. Everything's fiction, a story written by someone. But even then, I... All right, getting a call. And your thoughts are works of fiction. It's all following my outline to a T. This whole shebang is fiction. Let my gun wrap up for ya. Even if it is fiction, it's because of everyone's sacrifices that we've come this far. The thoughts have to be more than just fiction. There must be something we can do. You mean to live your lives for them as well. We're going to use this fiction to change reality. We're going to end Dagon Rampa. Okay. I will believe in myself. I don't know how my camera's not ran out of memory. Even if everything <laughs> is fictional, I'll believe in my feelings. If I can't believe in my feelings, then my existence will have no meaning. If we can change reality, then we won't be just fiction. Our lives will have significance. And hopefully, my feelings will have significance too. You see? But it's okay for everyone to die together! Man, why do you guys want to die so badly? It's not that I want to die. We fought so hard to survive. Of course we don't want to die. But it's not just about us. Everyone who died in the killing games felt the same way. They were all desperate to live. They wanted to survive for themselves and for someone else. That desire isn't fictional to us. That pain isn't fictional to us. To us, the killing game is real tragedy. That's why we have to stop it. We won't let this happen ever again. Like I told you, it's not going to stop because that's what the world wants. As long as the world wants killing games, Danganronpa will not end! Then we have to change it! There's no way you can change it! Fiction could never change the real- You don't believe in the power of fiction? Huh? It may not be a physical power, but our wish will surely be received by someone. If fiction has the power to touch people's hearts, then that power can change the world. That is what I believe. I will also abandon my vote, just as Shuichi suggested. Then it's decided. We all abstain from voting. Yeah. We reject. What are you gonna do spin. now? Huh? We refuse. 
Are you serious? Are you getting flustered? Your costume changes are less frequent now. Are you crazy? If you do that, only I, the mastermind, will survive, you know? There's no reason to keep on going. That's right, Nagito. What about despair? Do whatever you want with hope and despair. Screw it all. We've already decided to quit this killing game. I don't care about this fictional world. That's right. This class trial is over. Now, start voting time. Voting time? No, not yet. This game is gonna continue. Oh, God, please don't. I've been continue. recording for four hours. It feels like I think it actually has been four hours. This class trial will go on forever and ever. No. <laughs> please, just end the game already. This game is gonna keep going. Do I save it? Should I save it? I can't save it. And this quest trial ain't over yet either. You really want the killing game to end? Yes. You really want Dog on Rampa to end? I mean, Come no, on, even if but... we going back and forth. Let's keep this game going. I won't let it be voting time yet. We're going to abstain from voting. We don't have to play this rigged game. I'm going to abandon the entire thing. This game is gonna keep going. And this last trial ain't over yet. I agree. <laughs> well, I really turned back on my opinion there. Really fast. You wanna keep enjoying the game? Let's put this all behind us and resume the killing game. Everyone, everyone just dies. Oh. Is it really over? But it's not over. This is so confusing. All right, cool. I, I just had to see. I, I have to see. Oh, I guess that doesn't matter. Hey, why aren't you doing anything? Oh, it still works. I'm abandoning this game. I didn't think it actually worked. I won't play your game anymore, Monokuma. Now start the vote. I won't let you abandon this game. I definitely won't let you! Oh, now that it's psycho, I guess. <laughs> Oh, that's gonna make me do it again. No, oh, not this. Go ahead and go through all. End. No, I just refuse. I just won't play anything. Hey, what are you doing? Um, refusing to choose. Are you gonna play the car game next, aren't you? Yep. Ah! It's just a freaking road! No! I refuse to go anywhere. I'll, I do want to see what it's going to spell though. What must you need ever do? Stop it! Hit the... Ah. Oh, oh. oh, that was close. What must you never give up? Obviously it's going to be hope. There's only one way place to... No, no, I'm an alpha driver. Do the class trial right, or the audience is gonna get bored. No, I don't want to do it. I don't care. I don't care. Fine, be bored. We're not here for your entertainment. We're trying to survive. You're the ones who want us to be entertaining. You know, this is the most logical choice. It really is. <laughs> Management, do your job! Everyone's entitled. What the heck, man? I paid for this. If you're gonna complain, perhaps you should just stop watching. Even if we have to make the entire audience hate us, we're not gonna stop. We're gonna end our tragedy. We're on here. strike. Just give up already and start voting time. All four of us will abstain from voting, so you'll be the only one who survives. Are you okay with that, Kibo? Is your inner voice telling you that's okay? Does the outside world really want that? Do they want Danganronpa to end? Hey! What are they saying? What's your inner voice saying? My inner voice doesn't matter anymore. I'm going to end this game with my fr- Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Kibo? Management stepped in, I think. Kibo? What's wrong? <laughs> That's what I thought. They hacked him. <laughs> See? They don't want this kind of ending. They 
want the killing games to continue! That is the outside world's decision! What? She's getting crazy! Isn't that right, Kibo? Yes. My inner voice will not accept an ending without hope or despair. Kibo! Kibo! Get a hold of yourself! That's not possible! The Kibo you see there isn't the one you know! Like I said, you can't defy the audience when you're their surrogate! It's because he did such a silly thing that he's feeling the audience's anger now! What do you mean? What's happening to Kibo? Since Kibo kept defying the audience, they took a vote and decided that troublesome personality of his should be erased! Aw, oh, come on... We're bad guys, and as you can see, I, I have the proper attire. You know, I don't know how much. I really hope this game's gonna end soon. I, I need to know. I need some closure. I hope there's some good closure. His personality was erased? How cruel can you guys be? How long are you gonna play with our lives? But that's the decision of the outside world. Don't just end, Dungan Rampa. We supported you. You owe us. You can't end the games. That's what they said. I can't open my water bottle. Because the outside world still wants Dungan Rampa! That won't change! What did you say? So, do you still want to throw your lives he away? Keeps printing money. Even if it changes nothing? Oh, is he back? Kibo! Kibo! I can barely control it. Looks like this is the end. Kibo, no! Don't say that! You survived this far! I'm sorry. I could not fight with you until the end. But your choice is not wrong. The real enemy is the outside world who is enjoying this killing game. It's all for your entertainment. How could you guys? This is all your fault. Kibo! Stay with us! There's always sad moments when it comes to robots. He's completely erased. That makes me sad too, you know. He was a character I created. But this is the end. The outside <laughs> world rejects your decision. So no matter how you use your lives, it won't change anything. Then I'll change it. Kibo gave us this one chance. If Kibo is doing what the outside world is telling him, we just have to convince him. I know we can change the world. We owe it to Kibo to try. I said it's impossible for fiction to change the real world. The impossible is oh possible. All you gotta do is make it so. <laughs> you can even change the world. No, we will change the world for ourselves and everyone who died. You're going to throw your lives away for those who have died? You fought to survive this killing game. If you die now, it's all over. Even if we die, it's not the end. Our friends who died gave us their love, and we changed because of that. If we can inspire change in others, then that love will live on. That love will tear down the wall between fiction and reality, and it will live on forever. That's why. I'm gonna change the world. As long as I have their love, I will change it. Even if this whole story is a lie. I will use that lie to change the world. That's right. We're not gonna just be fiction. Shirichi, you can change this world because you're Kaito's sidekick. There's no way you can persuade them like that. They all love the killing games. They can't get enough Danganronpa! <laughs> this is... <laughs> it's funny because this is how they do, they treat animes too. It's like animes that were supposed to end after like 20 episodes, you know, has the most perfect ending. But what if, you know, the the, the, the higher ups, but, but what if we brought in another power level? Huh? Huh? Oh, the fans will love it! Please, keep giving us more money! I'm the world what it was! I won't let hypocrites interfere! Kibo! Let me hear the voices of the outside world, and let them hear me.
Oh, he's talking to the audience. What are they saying? Kumafare? Oh, whoa, whoa. My the Long heck is... How much I've given to show? Wait, oh god, I'm so bad at this. I gotta I have to learn this every time. Oh, oh my I don't I couldn't even see that. I'm so stupid. Dude, I'm trash at this. Alright, I had to restart this. I'm trash on the keyboard when it comes to that game, so uh I'll do it on the controller. Okay. I'm gonna pla I'm gonna pass this way easier. I'm a long time fan. Oh my god, yes. I mean, I'm still doing trash, but I'm better. There we go. Yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about. No, I feel- I feel that though. I really feel this. Like, you know what I mean? Is this like basically the developer just been like, screw it. Screw it. I'm doing whatever the heck I want. The fans have no control anymore. No way fiction can change the world. Lol. Lol. <laughs> uh, uh, fiction can change the world. I do agree with that, but I agree with it to a certain point. Like, you don't play Grand Theft Auto and think, Oh, well, I can do that in the real world. Or that's okay to do in the real world because I can do it in the real game. It's like you could be inspired by fiction. But yeah, I don't I don't agree with it up until a certain point. But obviously fiction has inspired things in the real world, clearly. You know, I can't- <laughs> I didn't want Kaya to die either. Man, how can they read my thoughts? Killing games are the best form of entertainment. The killing game is wrong. Hope versus despair. Big one. Despair. All right, what now? What now? What now? A pointless death because no one voted is the oh, okay. worst ending ever. Our life it's not pointless. Our lives are wait, 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 wait. Our lives Okay, it's not pointless. Oh my god. Why well, you got to be so confused game? Meat on the bone. It's it's not pointless. Our lives our weapons. <laughs> oh no. Oh. I thought I thought I was wrong. Okay, I'm right. Oh my god, it's getting so fast. Oh my god. Man, I need some fever. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. I need the sweet closure too. I really gotta hand it to the fans. Like, I'm kind of agreeing with them. <laughs> Ooh, so much tapping! Ah. Oh, uh, oh, crap. Oh, come on. Okay, 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 okay. Final blow! Danganronpa will never end, will it? We'll end Danganronpa with our own hands! Together! We're gonna end Dog There it is. There's that thumbnail. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna use that as a thumbnail, but we'll see. God. What that was freaking happened? a long battle. Kibo? Like I said, it's pointless. The outside world won't let Danganronpa end. Everyone loves Danganronpa. What's up with that one guy with this freaking close face? Is that a baby? Dude, there's a baby! Why? Look at it! There's a baby! <laughs> I love Danganronpa! <laughs> That's reality! Killing game entertainment will continue forever! It's so funny. Now then, let's proceed with voting time! It's about freaking time game. I hopeful Kibo should vote for despairing Samugi, without a doubt! Okay, uh, I need to save the game. That's what the outside world wants to see. I've been saving the game because I keep thinking they're gonna vote and they don't ever vote. It's like a Dragon Ball Z episode up in here. Let's give it everything we've got. Presenting one last voting time. 
So I kind of want to do, um, because I know the true ending is going to be voting for despair. Wait, wait, what am I voting for? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. The What Shuichi wants us to do is vote for ourselves. Um, but I want to see the ending where, what the fans want. I want to see that. I feel like that's going to be more satisfying and then we'll do the other ending. I'm assuming there's going to be multiple endings. I could be wrong on this. Okay, so let's vote for... Uh, Smoogie, yeah. I'm a little confused. It's a little confusing. I'm trying to think, like, am I doing this right? But I think so. I voted. I didn't care who it was. I don't care what happens. After all the talk, I guess I was a coward. But Maki and Himiko feel the same way, it seems. Oh, they voted?! I wonder if that's how it's gonna be even in the- Ah, even the other way. Is this really how it ends? Oh, that, oh come on. Why- why is it only in Danganronpa 1 that you got like another actual ending? Like, that's what I wanted. Oh wait, I'm supposed to not vote. I'm so stupid. Okay, I wait. Time's up. All right, looks like voting is over. Let's hurry and announce the results. I didn't vote. That was the right thing to do, right? The three of us might be penalized for abstaining to vote. But what's going to happen to Kibo and Sumugi? Yeah, will they actually follow through with it? That's the thing. If Kibo is controlled by the outside world, he must have voted for Sumugi. Then what about Sumugi? If she had cast one vote for Kibo, then it would be a tie, but... No need to worry about that. I didn't vote either. Why? What? Just as I thought. You wanted Hope to win. That's not it. We're friends, aren't we? There's no way I'd abandon you guys. Friends? You've got no right saying that now. <laughs> I turned over a new leaf. I'm not lying. It's the truth. So since the four of us abstained from voting, only Kibo's vote counts, no matter who he voted for. The only one who survives is Kibo. So in other words, the winner is Hope. <laughs> but Kibo said earlier that he'd sacrifice himself and take the punishment, right? So we're going oh. to punish him. He'll be participating in the next killing game. Hold it. Why are you punishing Kibo? If Kibo survives, then there's no need for him to be sacrificed. It doesn't work. We just like that. He needs to follow through on his words. That's not fair. Are you twisting the rules again? It's fine, because this is all fiction. Maybe it's a bit forced, but that's fiction for you, right? Is the are these people real people in the real world? Or are they or is it computers? I, I don't know. That's what's confusing me the most and making me like angry, because I don't know. I wish I knew, well, but the game is so since confusing. I didn't vote, I'll be killed with you guys. But I'll accept my death. Are they really if just gonna go out really like that? To die to stop the killing game. I'll die to continue it. Even if it's just fiction, I gave my life to make it. I've given my life to Dungan Ronpa. <laughs> and how about this for the next bloodline? Hope has won, but the lone survivor, Kibo, remains trapped. Now he'll challenge the killing game anew. Will he be able to grasp true hope? Are you telling me a robot walked up in here and said, hey, I want to play? An ending like that can work, right? What? This is the worst possible ending. But this is bad. At this rate, our deaths will be meaningless. Oh, no, he was created by Samugi. Well, we already know the outcome, but we should follow protocol. Monokuma, please tell us the results. Okay, then let's begin. And who is controlling Monokuma? Is just this team? The team? Who will win? Hope or despair? I don't know. Just please end the game already. Oh my god. Just get on with it. No! Oh, he didn't vote! So the fans chose not to vote! They're like, yes, this is what we want. This is what we want. Did I do good on my last class trial? Yay! What? 
why? People have seen for what voting. What did you say? He didn't vote. <laughs> I'm relieved. It can't be. Why? Oh. The world has what? changed. That's true. If Kibo refused to vote, that means the world changed. The audience chose not to vote That's as it. well. They rejected this killing what game. This? They're like, it's trash. <laughs> we don't like this. We're moving on. <laughs> I don't actually think that. I love Dog and Rapa, but I just need like a good ending for this game to uh, for some closure on a on a fan level. You know, as, as a fan of the game, serves you right. That's what you get for breaking the rules like that. Hold on, is that really okay? Dog and Rapa is going to end. The killing game full of 10 standoffs and backstabbing among friends. Yeah. It's just gonna abruptly end with season 53. Is that really okay? It should have been to like one, two at the most. Oh, people are, they're stopped tuning in. What? What do I, I, there's a, I saw that there's an old lady up in there too. No. <laughs> that guy, the guy in the, <laughs> The guy in the background, uh, your words can't reach them anymore. That's it. You never appreciated us, and it looks like you didn't appreciate the power of fiction. No one wants you anymore. No one wants to hear your sick, twisted stories anymore. Oh, so, so the, what the fan said during the Kibo thing must have been, like, they were for reals. They were like, I really hate this ending. It's over. This is it. It's finished. So, this is a crazy ending. Is it the yeah. end? So what are we gonna do now? Uh, now that it's over, there's no need for any punishments. No, no. What a half a ending. There's no way to end Danganronpa. Yeah. Oh, that's no way to end it. It needs to end with a punishment at the very least. Mm -hmm. I see. Hey. Now, if we continue to live after this, the choice we made really won't matter. People will just want another killing game, that's so. True. Got it, so let's just get it over with. Aww. It's going to end with everyone being annihilated. I never expected an ending like that, so I don't have a punishment ready. Yeah. So I'll just leave it to Kibo. Yes. I'll do it. I'll be the one who ends the killing game. The fans? I'll bring this fiction to an end. Hey, why don't you fly us out of here? It's the will of the outside world. Hey, he looks pretty cool though. I must say, just look at him. Destroy this entire fictional world and end the killing game. That is what the outside world wants. Yes, this ending doesn't exist. <laughs> I worked so hard to keep this going for 53 seasons and now it's all over. Well, that's fine. If this is a world without killing games no. now, I don't want to be a part of it. I have no interest in a world without Danganronpa. <laughs> I guess this is for us. No survivors. That's kind of a bummer. It's okay. But now it's all over. We're the last ones to suffer from killing games. Okay. Come on, everyone. We should be proud. We were we were the ones. We were able to change the world. Because. If this is all just fiction, then everything we've uh, achieved up until now might be a lie. But those lies, they changed the world. Even if we are just fictional characters someone made That's up, it. we were able to change the world. All right. I'm choosing to believe that what they mean by that is they're real people, but their personalities are fictional. My plan was a flawless copy. It even failed right at the no end. I should be able to hold my head up high. As a cosplay, cosplay cat criminal, right? Huh? What? Everyone. Very well, let's begin. Or rather, let's end this. This is the will of the outside world. Samugi, Shuichi, Himiko, and Maki will receive punishment. Time to destroy the ultimate academy. Okay, so this is basically what happened before when I lost. Even though it's already confirmed, I want to see the outside world, like... Wait, who's that? Oh, Junko. Oh, of course you've got like that. Aw. Oh, this is sad. Why is this sad? Why am I sad about this? No! Why did that make me sad?
Oh, he's gonna self-destruct or something? I don't know, I'm just assuming. Oh, no, I think that's it. Oh, he blew up the cage! What is the truth? They're all watching. Do not tell me that's the end of the game. There's always something after the credits. I don't know guys, like, if that's the, if that's the ending to, to the game, if that is the ending to the game, I, I can appreciate the meta story and it was creative. But I'm not exactly satisfied. Like, it was weird. I don't know what the game was trying to say. I, I I really don't. It's like, it's almost like the message was really like a developer trying to say like, I'm tired of creating these games. The fans always want this, they want that. I'm just gonna give you what I wanna give you. That's my interpretation of what I got out of this. But it just feels like a weird way for the series to just go like that. In, in such a popular series and it makes me feel like all the things that we did were was for nothing which really sucks so I don't know I don't know if there's gonna be more after the credits but I just think what was the point what was the point of any of it like I just need to know like did real people like obviously it's all fake right it's a game but did real people from this fictional world go into this game that's fictional inside the game and did they actually die? Did people actually volunteer and they died? Like for real people, like real people. And they put it on TV and everyone watched and voted and controlled the story. That's what, that's what's happened. So there was no, there was no sickness. There was no meteors. There was no nothing. It was just all fake. It was just like the Truman Show. And at the end, they broke free and destroyed the fictional world. You must save the game before you can see the clear data bonus. Oh, okay. We strongly recommend that you save the game. Okay, okay. Why are they saying that? There's more? All right, come on. Give me some good clothes. What? Press any button. Okay, that's exactly what I'm doing. What the heck? I knew some crap like that was gonna happen. Are you okay? Yeah, somehow. I'm sort of stuck here. Someone help me out. Hey! Hugo, careful. Yeah. That looks like a blue we sky. Saved. We made it. Hey, how were we saved? Why are we still alive? Uh, yeah, why are we alive? I wonder. The killing game is over, the class trials are over, and the fictional world is over. So then where are we? Another fictional world after the fiction has ended? What's left for us here? Everyone's killing game closing ceremony. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad this is here. We were silent for a long while, staring into the other side, where we continue to hope. Man, that's pretty. And they continue to torture us. The outside world. Wait, 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 wait. 53 times hope moved forward. 53 times the suffering continued. The world on the other side of the fiction. The real world. So, what do we do now? We didn't think of a plan for what to do after. I thought that was the end of us back there. But we survived. And that's the truth. Okay. It seems as though we don't really have a choice. We can't stay here anymore. Hey. But I don't get it. Seriously, how are we still alive? When this world destroyed itself, I thought we would go down with it. You're right. Cuba probably saved us. Mm. He made sure we didn't die. Why? But why would he do that? There's no point in escaping to the outside world. We're just fictional characters. Did Kibo save us because he was acting on what the outside world wanted? No. Then maybe this is what the outside world wanted. Mm -hmm. For us to live? Okay. That's right. In addition to ending all this, the outside world wanted us, wanted us to live. 
I suppose the outside world wanted this lie to become the truth. <laughs> so come on, everyone, let's head outside with confidence. How could you trust anyone ever after this? Remember, the outside world is waiting. To the outside world, huh? I wonder what kind of world it is. <sighs> a peaceful world with no fighting and no despair. That's what Samugi said, right? You're right. Yeah, if she wasn't lying. Yeah. It might be a lie? Because... Remember the last thing Samugi said? <laughs> My plan was such a flawless copy, it even fell right at the end. So I should be able to hold my head up high as a cosplay ca uh, criminal, right? If I remember correctly. She said copy. What it... That means she must have been copying someone, right? What? What does that mean? <laughs> what indeed? What did you say? What, you don't know? But... Uh, well, I have some theories. Perhaps Hope Seek Academy and the Remnants of Despair really exist. What? Maybe Samugi was just basing her performance on this, so she wasn't really Junko then. Hey. So Samugi lied about this whole world being just fiction. What did you say? What a surprise ending. No. No, I don't really know for sure. She might have been lying when she said copy. Hmm. But if she were telling the truth, then it would make sense that that was a lie. What? What do you mean by that? That's... What Samugi showed us, the way we were when we first arrived. Huh? What am I wearing? How nice! Looking good, now you look more like Ultimates! Huh? Really? So... Uh, next up, the memory you've been waiting for. You guys are ready? Once the seal's broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game! Could it be... You mean we're, we were selected? Alright! We got picked, alright! <laughs> I'm selected for it too. But... I still don't believe it. I can't believe that any of us would volunteer for this. We forgot everything about our old selves after that first flashback light, didn't we? If I remember correctly. That's what Samugi said, but something's been bugging me about that. Even if we were obsessed with this killing game, it's still I still can't believe we would participate in it. I don't believe it. <laughs> but I don't really have any logic behind that. What? One of Kaito's hunches, huh? What's the point? There's no way for us to check when we all apply to the academy, right? Uh, okay. Yeah. What, we can't check? Hmm. So in the end, we still don't know that it was what was true or not. <sighs> the fictional world ends here, and the real world lies out there. Perhaps just beyond here is the truth. But maybe it isn't. Don't tell me. Maybe it's all still fiction in that world, or... Maybe Danganronpa still continues in that world, or... You can't just end it like that. <laughs> or maybe the outside world is the same as this world. It might be a world filled with lies. Mm. Well, if we can get out of here, we'll know for sure. But... Yeah, but I feel like there's not much meaning in truth and lies. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Mm. I mean that even if something is a lie, even if it's fiction... Remember... If it has the power to change the world, then it must contain some kind of truth. Aren't we proof of that? In this fictional world, we overcame all these fictional struggles. But those things changed us. And we were able to change the world. So it doesn't really matter where the truth ends and where the lies begin. If lies can change the world just as well as the truth can, then lies are just another way of telling the truth. Some lies can lead the world to hope. Some truths can lead the world to despair. So I don't think anyone can really say which is more right in the end. It's all about perspective. Mm. I guess it's not important whether it's the truth or a lie, just what it leads to. Okay. That's what I believe. We stand with one foot in fiction, and one foot in reality. Then, we need to see for ourselves whether this fictional world has changed the outside world, and what we can do from this point on. You're right. We can't stay in this fictional world forever. It's already over. We gotta take all the experience we earned in this world, and go on to the next. Yeah. Let's go. We'll see what this world gained, and what it lost, and all the rest. Let's find out, together. To the other side of this world, to the other side of fiction, let's find out together, and what we could accomplish. It's what we could accomplish. The story lives on. Take it in, boys and gals! Dude, I can't believe how much it is just like that movie. I cannot believe it. So it's just a big dome. 
You can't tell me that the creator of this game was not influenced by that movie. I'm sure even now, even on the other side, it lives on there as well. And thus, the story lives on. Was this lie able to change something? Was this lie able to change someone? Was this lie able to change the world? If it was able to change even the smallest thing, then the story isn't over. The end. All right. I guess. I guess. Well, my scrubs, I don't know if that's gonna be the end of Danganronpa. You know, I heard there was rumors. There was rumors of another one uh, that's gonna be created. I don't know what to think about this. It's weird because it's leaving it open for another game. And I can see, like, it's basically saying that there's a chance this entire game could not be related to Danganronpa 1 and Danganronpa 2. But really, this game was just about the message. It was just about the message on how uh, stories that people make can change the world, you know? And I, I totally do agree with that. I totally do agree with that. But I think there's two sides to that coin. There's that argument that violence in video games creates violence in real life. If there is any truth to that, the only people that uh, have a problem with that are not normal people. You know what I mean? There's always been that big debate between reality and fiction and how it affects things. I do think there are truths to like, what you let inside your mind can influence some things about the actions that you make in the real world because you only act on your thoughts that you have in your head, right? And those thoughts come from things that you consume, whether that be TV and things like that. But it is up to you to decide like, Hey, you know, this is, this is fake. This is real. Maybe don't steal someone's car like in Dong uh, De Grand Theft Auto. It's up to the person to decide that like, hey, this is in fiction because it's okay on there. And it's not okay in real life. So if you can make that decision correctly, I think that's the responsibility that we all have. And if some people can't make that decision correctly, then they shouldn't be consuming this kind of material. That's what I think. And with that being said, I think that leaves the closure on Danganronpa. Will there be another game? You know, shoot, I'll play it. I will play it. And I kind of hope there is just because I, I still need to know, like, I need some more closure. Like, what does the outside world look like? Is it freaking real? What? What is it? With Danganronpa over, be sure to check out Your Turn to Die if you guys uh, love this kind of stuff. It's, it, you can tell it's very, it seems very inspired by Danganronpa. I don't know if that's actually true. And thank you again for everyone. If, you, if you've followed me through the entire thing, I just want to say I love you and I appreciate you. Each and every single one of you, thank you for sticking around with this because I've had so much fun recording this and just sharing this experience with you guys. Go buy all the Danganronpa games, go do all the extras, go do it all, give the developers some support, buy their merch, blah blah blah, do it all, and I'll see you scrubs in the next one. Bye!